Good morning, GMS. I'm Lillian. And I'm Evelyn. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 29, 2021. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving break. Winter break is next and it will come after school on Wednesday, de December 22nd. Ella's frozen yogurt is coming on Tuesday, November 30th. Remember, it's only $5. Yearbooks are still for sale at yearbookforever.com. The price is still only $35, but the price will increase soon. So buy your yearbooks now. If your child is renting a device, please remind them not to remove the pre protective case. If damage occurs without the school issued protective case intact, the school insurance policy is, n is null and void. If you're dropping off or picking up your student, please make sure that you use your turn signal when coming on into the south parking lot. Also, do not drop, off, drop your student off in the north parking lot. Options for dropping off or picking up your student are in the south parking lot, Freedom Park, or along stop 18 west of the south parking lot. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip like or longer with, that, with or without garments underneath. Also remember the dress code also applies in extracurricular activities. Thanks for your understanding. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week everybody and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS news show, interview of the week. I am Lincoln Tadero here with Guidance Office Secretary, Mrs. Metzger. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? I'm Mrs. Metzger. Um, I'm married, and I have two girls. I have a junior, Emily Metzger, and then I have a seventh grader, Lizzie Metzger. Hmm. Yeah. Would you like, what do you like working at Greenwood Schools? I love working for Greenwood Schools. Um, Greenwood feels like a small town and everybody knows everybody and everybody is just incredibly kind. I, I like that. What do you like about, wait, what's your favorite Disney movie? Oh, Sorry. Snow White, absolutely. What are three things you think should not belong on pizza? Okay, Mr. Metzger and I just had this conversation. Lettuce, yeah. I say no anchovies, he says yes. anchovies and chocolate. Three things I don't want to see on pizza. What is your dream job? Or if it is working in a school, do you like working with kids more or adults? Um, I used to work with kids directly at Isom Elementary and then I came over here. So now I work more with adults. I do love working with adults, but I loved working with the children more one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for coming on our show today, Ms. Metzger. Have a great week. Thanks. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lily, and let's get started with number three. According to timeforkids.com, if you go to Chile, South America, you may see the, quite the sight, a huge inflatable duck floating down the waterways. This duck was made by a Dutch artist, Florentine Hoffman, and it's part of the country's homemade festival. Uh, number two, according to Dogo News, an Australian hero dog was honored for saving koalas from a bushfire. On October 11, 2021, the International Fund for Animal Welfare honored Bear, an Australian coolie. With the Animal of the Year Award, the six-year-old pooch helped to save over 100 koalas from devastating bushfires. We think Bear really deserved this award because he's been such a good boy in helping us find and rescue a lot of koalas, said Bear's handlers. We'll make sure to give Bear extra pats and, play, and extra play for his award. Number one, according to Kid News, graffiti artist Odith from Portugal is becoming a social media sensation with his ultra-realistic murals. The street artist's mind-blowing 3D creations have earned him the nickname The Illusionist for their incredible color, depth, and imagination. From living creatures to vehicles, there is seemingly no subject that this 44-year-old self-taught artist can't turn into a head-turning piece of street art. I'm Lily, thanks for watching. Welcome to sports, it's Maya. On Tuesday, November 30th, we have 7th grade boys basketball at Center Road Middle School at 5 p.m. On Thursday, December 2nd, we have 7th grade boys basketball at Plainfield Community Middle School at 5.30 p.m. That's all for sports. Have a great week.